you see that? I could not catch up with that fish. Holy cow, that was nuts. A fish is swimming like 20 miles an hour. That's insane. He obviously does the podcast with Ronnie all the time. Um, you, see, you see a lot of his work on Bassmaster.com for the page of Bassmaster, Folks, it's Bass Times. Froggy out here. Look and at this. Kyle had never done that before, and and I just I knew he'd be great at. We're it. We're on our way like to the lake. Camera doesn't really do it justice, but beforehand, I'm like, it's a pretty thick frog. We had some storms all day yesterday. There's been a lot of damage down south, with tornadoes and stuff. Luckily, it hasn't happened here, but we have got some rain and definitely some fog this morning. It is 61 degrees. It's supposed to get up to 80 today. The camera's all wonky. Um, but yeah, we're heading to like me and the Finster. We're gonna try to put something together. I think I'm gonna maybe start out with some top water this morning. Um, there's been a lot of fish up shallow. We're in the middle of the spawning cycle, guys and gals. So the fish have been moving up, spawning, moving back off. It's been kind of post spawn, tough bite. There's been several tournaments in the area and the bites been kind of tough um so that's that i think it's that post spawn funk and uh we're just kind of in between little trans there's just a lot a lot of little stuff going on but the fish are wanting to be up shallow so i think we're going to spend a little bit of time this morning just throwing maybe some top water maybe a spinner bait i'm curious to see what the water visibility is like over here since we did we have had rain a couple days of rain so um it'd be cool if there is a little bit of stain in the water so we're gonna look in the back of some coves maybe creeks things like that see if we can get a uh, moving bait bite and we will take it from there give me a thumbs up if you've been appreciating the content and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated and don't forget to go to baitworks if you need to stock up on your spring tackle i have a code thm10 that will save you 10 percent off of your order i know i'm like promoting that all the time but it is 10 percent off so if you're going to order some stuff baitworks is a great way to help support the channel they sponsor our live streams so our tuesday night live streams at eight o'clock we do a 25 dollars baitworks gift card giveaway um, baitworks is a great company in springfield missouri so if you want to help support the channel when you're buying tackle go to baitworks Hello, guy. A little chugger burger. Kind of miss this morning fog, guys. Parking lot was full of folks, and it took a while to get set up. But we're still gonna fish top water for just a little bit. Hmm, good old braid. That sucker. Chug well, buddy. What's going on, Finn? There we go, folks. <laughs> We're taking advantage of this shade. Man, there is boats everywhere out here. It's springtime, man. You know, <laughs> it's hard for me to adjust because I'm used to coming out here, get out in the lake, and I fished all year long, obviously. You've seen the videos, but it takes me a while to adapt to all the boats and the pressure and stuff. Because throughout the winter and fall, winter, early spring, there's you know, typically less than five boats in the parking lot. And there was like 30 there this morning. So we're throwing this little guy around, just taking advantage of some of the shade. We're gonna mix it up with a couple other top water baits, a uh, buzz bait, maybe a toad or something. But we're looking for these fish are up here shallow. The water level has come up about a foot or so from the recent rains. So 
I'm liking this. It's got a little bit of stain. So we're going to keep running this for a little bit. I've already had several bites on it. Sunglasses, folks. That was stupid. There we go. Another little fish. And I hit myself in the head with a rod and a bait. Mm. That's close, man. Great way to end a trip. Got trouble right in the forehead. That was cool. He sharked it. I got off. I got something going on. So the other day at Kincaid, I got all the way in the no wake and I was, well, before I got in the no wake, my motor just died like I wasn't getting fuel. So I had to, all the way from the no wake to the marina, had to pump my bulb about every five seconds to get back. I changed, I got a new fuel line last night, changed out the fittings. It's doing the same thing. So it's not the fuel line. Well, I guess I'm gonna go back here and flip. It's hot. It is hot. There ain't a it's stitch, hot. there ain't a stitch of wind at all. It's Ooh, fish crushed it. The little guy, but man, what a violent strike. These are the little ones. Blow up one of the hardest. All right, folks, uh, top water bite is definitely over. Caught a few on it, had a few blow ups, missed, missed a few, that kind of stuff. Um, I, I really been focusing on some of these shady areas and blue yellow spawning, and I just can't get it to go. We're in the middle of the day, you know, we got out here late, and uh, typically the fishing gets slow in the middle of the day. So we're going to switch gears up. Um, we are going to look out deep and maybe flip out a little deeper. Um, I've got that. Ozark rig from Core Tackle. I've got that rigged up on a Cinco. Then I get a Carolina rig rigged up, um, shaky head jig, that type of thing. So we're just gonna mix it up and see if we can figure something out. There we go. Little fella on the Ozark rig. See, he has the whole freaking time. Get up in here. Ha! There you go, folks. A little Ozark rig. This is the 3 16 ounce version with a little three out hook. Not a little three out hook, but a three out hook. And we're just throwing them. This little bait's baby destroyer, and it has been tough out here. Started out, got a few fish on the top water. Bluegill are spawning. I've thrown a Cinco a bunch, and I mean, I've barely been mixing it up. I cannot, ah, cannot get bit on anything. Fish was not coming off. There you go, decent fish. Um, we just switched to some bluffy area and we're trying a new bait from Core Tackle. Um, I did a video on this a while back, but we're playing around with this little sucker. It's a crazy looking bait, but it works. So what I'm doing on this bait here, this Ozark rig is just pitching it out there making short pitches and we're kind of fishing more bluffy stuff and i'm just giving it slack letting it fall on a slack line i got a lot of slack and i'm really watching the line because most of the bites i'm not even feeling especially the better fish they just pick it up and kind of start moving off it's similar it's kind of like a wacky rig sort of 
so if you're not popping it quite as high but once my bait's on the bottom i'm just kind of giving it little just little short hops because that thing will really just glide up and stall out i mean it looks you know when a crawfish there's fry right here in the water when a crawfish swims up off the bottom it's a real slow like this it's not like boom boom and that's what this thing does i mean this ozark rig it just it kind of hovers and falls back down it looks just like a crawfish that's got spooked and i think that's the reason why it's so deadly um the boat's sitting in like 15 but i've been fishing anywhere from i don't know 15 to 20 feet where the boat's at and i'm just throwing up um kind of close to the bank but this is more bluffy stuff so it does drop off i'm just thinking of places where this next round of spawners like pre-spawners would be um so the spawns we already had one round of spawn and most of those fish i mean i haven't been able to find any on the beds the water came up so you can't really see but um the shallow bite's pretty much non-existent for me i'm catching caught a few there doing the top water this morning but we got out here too late and i think that's one swimming off with it oh, oh. so i'm being kind of concentrating on places where i think pre-spawners would be setting up to go in and then post spawners and that's kind of what we're doing we're just sampling some different areas to see if we can locate fish and it seems like we're, we are able to catch some fish around this rock little guy little guy we'll take him came off that little piece of wood right there feels good to get some bites because it has been slow There we go. Suck a bit twice. We're catching some fish, man. We're catching some fish. We're keeping our lines tight. It's tough out here. It feels good to set the hook. Glad I bought this little Ozark rig. Glad I broke it out. Never know, man. Just never knew. Something different. All right, we got this little hover rig and I'm gonna flip it out there and show you what it looks like on the live scope it's, as it's falling through the water column. It's um, It's got a very unique action. So I'll see if I can do this without throwing my camera or my rod in the boat or in the water. Yeah, there it is right there. Out there about 15 and I've got slack line. You can see how slow it's falling. See how it's kind of just twirling around. Really slow fall. It's kind of halfway spiraling. It's a cool bait, really cool bait. Stalls out, I mean my line's tight now, that's why it's slowed down, but it's giving it slack again. It's different, man, and then when you pop it up, it you pop it up, it comes up pretty slow, but then it just stalls out, and then it starts that little slow spiral, but even though it's spiral, spiraling a little bit, um, it, it's more gliding than spiraling, so it doesn't twist up your line bad like a tube does. Ah, we cleared some out, folks. I think we finally cleared some out. That fish jumped like 20 feet up in the air. It's cool. This sucker's long and lean. No caffeine. No, he had a lot of caffeine, actually. He is crisp and clean. Nice. <laughs> Keep that old head down. Keep that old head down. Grinding, changing up. All right, here's what we're throwing. This is the Ozark rig made by Core Tackle. And this is the 3 16th with a 3 out hook. And we're throwing a Missile Baits Baby Destroyer. This is Super Bug. Um, one thing I found out after watching a video with Matt Steffen, if you don't know Matt Steffen and Johnny Schultz are the owners of Core Tackle. They make a lot of pretty cool products. Give them a look. Um, 
I was threading this up just traditional going in the nose and he's got a video where he comes in like this and it has to do with the way this hook is set up so if you come in like this this is kind of a weird part you just got to thread it up on this the shank the weight is along the shank and that's what makes it glide and it has a really really distinct gliding action so you're just going to come all the way up there like that and you get a little nose right there come around that nose a little hook point or weight point i guess it is and it makes it lay flat if you were to just thread it on there traditional it's kind of got a weird angle so that sets perfectly if you come in from the side and then you're just rigging this normal like basically texas rigging it like that and the hook lay is pretty good on there just kind of skin hook it text pose it throwing it on 14 pound sun line we've got the this is a seven foot medium heavy fast vertus game changer and it'll lose custom light no lose tournament pro i'm sorry it's like a 6.8 this is a really nice light combination but this bait here's what this weight does instead of a texas rig you know where you got your just you got your traditional bullet weight and wants to fall like this this thing glides i mean it really glides i can watch it on the live scope and it's got a really when it hits the water it, it kind of stalls and just hangs up and then it just glides and it doesn't it doesn't twist your lineup um, because the weight is right underneath the bait and it just stays really really balanced it's real good coming through cover i mean it comes through grass good it comes through wood really good and you've got really good contact because the weight is exposed all the way along the bottom so it's really it really transmits the bottom up your line it's a pretty it's a pretty unique bait i mean i'm just playing around with it this is really only the second time i've kept it in my hands for a while but um you can put a variety of baits on there any kind of creature bait um, i was throwing it earlier with a cinco um a beaver or something i've thrown it on but today we're just throwing that destroyer and it is hot out here there's like hardly any wind it's like 85 degrees i'm sweating family's ducked underneath the pillow and yeah but we're fishing we're having fun we're not working oh I thought it was a fish. Get up in here. Look at that. Found a little stretch. Got some fish on it. Yes, sir. Thunk. Cool thing about this hook, almost, I don't know the percentage, but most of the time, you're hooking them in the top of the mouth. I mean, it's something I've noticed, and it's because the bait is sitting like this on the bottom. It's not rolled over like a Texas rig. It's actually sitting just like that so when you set it's getting them in the roof of the mouth for the most part there's a bite mm, that's a better fish stronger fish at least oh. there we go Go. This is a decent fish for the day. It's fun, fun. Just skipped it up underneath that tree. See how he's hooked right in the top of the mouth? Just about every time it's like that.
Ah, that's a good fish, man. Look at that. There we go, folks. That's gonna wrap it up, man. This uh, Ozark rig by Cortaco is a pretty cool bait. It's very unique. It's very finessey. It's got a slow fall. You gotta be patient. If you guys are, you know, if you like fishing shaky heads, Ned rigs, um, just pitching lighter baits, this is something you probably need to check out, especially around pressured fish. I mean, that's a good, good quality fish. Nothing wrong with that fella there. I mean, it was slow today. It was really tough. I talked to my buddy Toby, and he said he wasn't wasn't catching a whole bunch of fish either. He's catching some fish, but he was really having to work for them, and that's kind of what I found today. Just bouncing around, trying a bunch of different things, but sometimes going finesse. I mean, I love fishing finesse. Um, this core tackle, Ozark rig. They got a bunch of cool stuff. They got the hover rig and all that, but it's good bait. It's fun. Thumbs up. Appreciate the content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till next time.